Joshua Ingersoll is a member of the ITU Secretary General's uh, Youth Advisory Board. I'm Monica Gaynor, and uh, it's great to have you here, Josh. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yesterday, today, uh, we had the Space Sustainability Forum here at ITU for the first time. And I saw the who's who uh, that is convened by ITU really from space and telecom industry, uh, space and satellite uh, industry, uh, governments, policymakers and other stakeholders interested uh, and committed to mm -hmm. the responsible use of space. Base. And uh, you have been participating as well. You have been invited to participate and represent the vertical arm of the ITU uh, US Advisory uh, uh, Board. And so can I ask you about the three takeaways that you will take uh, back home and uh, potentially advocate for? Yeah, and uh, I want to say that it really was a who's who. Um, it was very impressive for an inaugural event, uh, the quality of the speakers and the panelists that the Secretary General was able to uh, uh, convene. Uh, on such a short notice, it's a, it was only a few months of pre preparatory work. Um, the first takeaway is that, uh, you know, just that, uh, the, the fact that all of these stakeholders from, you know, launch companies, telecommunications companies, satellite manufacturers and operators, um, policymakers, uh, the fact that they were they were not only willing but uh, uh, you know excited to come and talk about this issue uh, shows that uh, there's a willingness from from the all of these stakeholders to to have these you know tough conversations about how we can make sure that we're using space responsibly uh, that we can you know uh, be good stewards of the environment uh, and beyond that that sort of uh, excitement and enthusiasm uh, the two other big takeaways I had from from the conference are uh, that. There's, there's, you know, uh, guidelines and regulations, and and one of the things that I really enjoyed from the panelists was uh, a focus on, you know, not just going through the official processes to produce regulations uh, or stop signs. They were using car analogies uh, during the last panel, uh, but more so having these industry players establish guidelines uh, through operator to operator conversations. Um, the, these processes can move a lot faster. And because of that enthusiasm, I'm very confident that we're going to be able to establish these these new guidelines for how to, uh, uh, like I said, be good stewards of the the uh, space environment. So uh, enthusiasm, guidelines, and then finally, uh, just community. Um, it's a very small community of, of uh, stakeholders. Uh, we all sort of know each other. Uh, you know, the the titles change uh, when people show up to the different events. We, you know, it's musical chairs. Uh, but um, there, there's a community there. There's, you know, you enjoy uh, the company of the people that you're on the panels with. Uh, there's, there's a lot of camaraderie. Um, so we're enthusiastic. We're, you know, willing to have conversations with each other about how to move forward, and we care about each other, uh, not just as, you know, uh, the VP of regulatory affairs or the chief operating officer, but more, you know, Amy and uh, uh, Sarah. Um, uh, so I think I'm very confident that through events like this. Uh, real progress will be made. It sounds like the ITU family, that's what we always say, you know, you have a vertical community here, but they're all part of an ITU family. And you said we were able to convene within three months, but this is based on 160 years almost exactly. of uh, convening uh, stakeholders uh, according to evolving and emerging technologies, mm -hmm. right? So uh, this is our convening power mm -hmm. uh, longstanding mm -hmm. and that enabled us to bring our uh, families or communities mm -hmm. together uh, very fast. Uh, now, you're also part of this uh, uh, US Advisory Board community. How did it feel when you were selected among these over 100, 800 applicants uh, to be one of 12? A very exclusive uh, community. Yeah, I mean, and and also not just one of twelve, but uh, one of two from each uh, ITU region. So I, I'm, you know, if you can't tell, I'm American. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and to to not only be chosen to to represent uh, the youth on the board, but to to represent uh, uh, the United States on the board um, was was such an honor. <laughs> Um, I, you know, I had a, a lot of friends that we run in similar circles that also applied and uh, they were so supportive when when they found out that I was I was selected because, um, you know, uh, in, in their words, I would be a, a good, uh, you know, uh, representative for for our community. Um, 
I, I'm very, very grateful. Uh, I, I've been doing the same type of work uh, that the Youth Advisory Board has set out to do, a lot of uh, uh, youth engagement, uh, information sharing, uh, providing the youth perspective on bridging the digital divide. Uh, and because I had done a lot of that work previously, um, you know, I would have kept doing it if I wasn't selected for the board, but uh, because I was, I'm able to, you know, kick it into that next gear. Very good. So you you spoke about the the regional uh, uh, balance, and yeah. I, I'm pretty sure we also have uh, gender balance mm -hmm. in this composition of the board. Uh, I just interviewed a female representative on how she broke, uh, um, you know, the glass uh, ceiling or gender barriers in her young career. Uh, you're a young father, right? Mm -hmm. I learned your child is uh, four months old and uh, and starts to roll. Yeah, over he just started and, rolling. Uh, and so how, how do you reconcile, you know, your role in traveling the world and participating, advocating at conferences and your young family? How, what role did your family play, the community, your environment in your career? So uh, my, my wife, my wife is my rock. Um, <laughs> she, she is so supportive of all of the work I do. Um, she's, uh, you know, uh, she knows not to, to ask about too much detail or else I'll just start rambling and, uh, you know, the conversation will go on and on about all of these cool, you know, geostationary filings that are coming up at the ITU. Um, but no, my my family has uh, always uh, told me there there is no limit. Um, my, my father was very supportive of me leaving leaving home to go far away for college. Um, uh, you know, no matter what I wanted to go do, my network, my my family has been, you know, uh, very supportive. And that's that's because I try to, you know, support them in, in turn. Uh, my wife is, uh, you know, looking after our son while I'm, I'm here in Geneva. Uh, but, you know, she's also finishing her doctorate as well. Uh, and so uh, when I'm home, I'm home. Uh, and so there, there's a good balance there. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah, she she's been she's been my rock. Uh, you just showed me some images of your of your uh, young uh, son, and that you can talk to him over the distance. So that's really the the digital natives. You yeah, know, I didn't exactly. have that at the time. Yeah. So far away, you can speak uh, with your son or to your son. Mm -hmm. And you also mentioned you have been far away in, uh, before you. Um, uh, became a uh, expert or aspiring expert in uh, space uh, policy and uh, regulation engineering, right? So um, what were the milestones uh, in your career so far uh, that brought you where you are here today? Yeah, it's um, it's a lot of mentorship. It's uh, peer mentors, having having friends who have you know gone off and had internship experiences or uh, knew a professor in a lab that uh, you help them study for a, for an exam. They help you study for an exam, and you know they you know help you get your foot in the door with with those opportunities. Uh, and then you know executive mentors, people people like the the panelists here at the forum uh, that have volunteered their time to you know. Uh, share their wisdom, or um, you know, provide advice on the steps that they took to 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 you know progress in their career. Um, I, I've had a lot of really good mentors in undergrad and grad school uh, as I've started to navigate the the commercial space industry in the U.S. Um, uh, once again, that that sense of community that uh, these people uh, not only care about me professionally but me personally as well. So. Uh, it was my birthday a couple days ago, uh, actually, uh, uh, the day before the forum, and a bunch of the the panelists that I had reached out to before uh, took me out to dinner, and, and we did a did a nice birthday dinner. But there's there's a really uh, a sense of closeness in this community that uh, you know uh, when I was able to have my first internship or apply for grad school or get my first job. Um, these mentors have uh, played an integral part in each each part of those uh, each one of those decisions. Geneva is a uh, uh, hub of digital diplomacy in mm -hmm. Europe, if not the world. So uh, uh, I hope to see you next year uh, when we celebrate the hundred hundred sixtieth anniversary of ITU. Mm -hmm. And um, so you you mentioned mentoring. Mm -hmm. Is there uh, if you would be a mentor for younger? people, mm -hmm. uh, what would you recommend them to have to do uh, to have a career in tech? Yeah, it's, um, I think the biggest thing is to to fight against that sense of imposter syndrome, um, uh, to just sort of put yourself out there to, you know, send send that message to, to ask for an introductory uh, 
uh, meeting with somebody that you really look up to. Uh, you know, walk up to somebody at a conference or an event and, you know, talk to the people that have made an impact on you digitally, uh, but introduce yourself physically. Um, you know, uh, I think, you know, when you approach these types of conversations, come in with a with a give first instead of asking for a take. Um, uh, you may feel as a as a member of the youth that you don't have anything to give, but you have you have everything to give. You have uh, 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 a fresh perspective. Uh, you're coming into you're walking into a room where, like you said, uh, for 160 years a conversation has been occurring, uh, and you have you have uh, no preconceived notions of what what could be. Um, and I think that that is that value, the value of that perspective uh, among the youth is uh, something at, you know, as far up as the ITU, as, you know, low as, you know, just an introduction at a, at a reception or at a conference um, uh, is valuable at every every step in between. Um, so put yourself out there. Uh, don't be afraid to, to contribute your perspective. Peers in the US Advisory Board also said me you have to be ambitious. So uh, put yourself out. Uh, don't be afraid. Be mm -hmm. ambitious. Who's on the top of the list of the people you want to reach out and uh, meet <laughs> with? Tell us. Oh, oh, that's a good question. Um, be bold. People are watching it. Perhaps it's <laughs> happening. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I was just talking to my, my dad before I sat down for this interview that I was uh, uh, a, a bit starstruck this past these past few days. Uh, uh, the Youth Advisor Board got to sit down with the Secretary General of the ITU yesterday to discuss uh, our you know take on the forum. Uh, our takeaway is what we want to contribute to the forum. And I think you know if you had asked me that question a year ago, uh, I would have said you know the Secretary General <laughs> of the ITU. Uh, so I, I'm sort of like the the dog that caught the car that he was chasing, and now he doesn't know what to do. I I mean. Um, I think the person that I would like to to reach most is, you know, uh, people like me, people like the rest of the Youth Advisory Board that are, you know, five or ten years younger, um, to sort of show them, hey, this is, you know, the, the sky is not the limit. There's there's space above it. Yeah. Uh, you you can, uh, if you're interested in 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 these types of issues and contributing to the conversation, you you can go far with that passion. Um, so I would, you know. Instead of looking up, I would I would look uh, look to the next generation after the current youth advisory board. Very nice. I enjoyed this conversation, and you're younger than me. I learned a lot from you. <laughs> <laughs> so I wish you all the best in your uh, uh, future that is yet to come, and I hope it will be the best. We can't foresee it, but I wish you the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, Josh. <laughs>